Thanks, Michelle. Say, how would you like to plot out the cycles of solar flares? Students at Hardy Middle School in Washington, D.C. will show you how. Check out my nose. Hi, we're from Hardy Middle School. Here in Georgetown, Washington, D.C. NASA Connect has asked us to show you this hands-on activity. It's called X-ray candles. Solar flares on your birthday. Here are the main objectives. You'll discover the solar cycle through an investigation of solar x-ray flares. You'll record the total number of flares in your birth month over an 11-year period. You'll compute the percentage of M-class flares that occur. You'll graph your findings to help you identify the long-term pattern of flare activity on the sun. And you'll incorporate problem-solving strategies in a real-life application. The list of materials you'll need for this activity can be downloaded from the NASA Connect website. The class will be divided into groups according to their birth month. Teachers will provide each group with solar flare data for the corresponding birth month and each student with a calculator, graph paper, and student data charts. Good morning class. Today your job is to plot and analyze solar flare data from a satellite and determine the solar cycle of the sun. First, add the total number of flares that occurred in your birth month for each year. Record that number in the last column of each row of the solar flare data sheet. Second, add all the numbers in the last column of the solar flare data sheets to determine the total number of flares in your birth month for each year. Record that number for each year in the box at the bottom of each page of the solar flare data sheet. Next, add the total number of N-class flares in your birth month for each year. Record the total number of M-class flares for each year in the box at the bottom middle of each page of the solar flare data sheet. What do you get for your birth month? 14. Groups will need to collaborate with each other to get information on the total number of flares and M-class flares for all months in each year. Record the data on the student data chart. Record the total number of flares and M-class flares for each year on the student chart. From this data, compute the percentage of M-class flares for each year by using the equation M-class flares divided by total number of flares multiplied by 100. Students will then plot the percentage of M-class flares versus year. Okay, why is it important for researchers and scientists to know when solar maximums and solar minimums will occur? Connor. So they know when solar storms will hit the Earth. Anybody else? Allison? So they can warn us if the electricity will go out in our homes. Special thanks to the AIAA National Capital Section and the AIAA mentors from the University of Maryland who helped us with the show. Thank you. We had a great experience. And we encourage teachers to visit our website to learn more about the AIAA mentorship program in your area.